We are very excited about the IH Climate Change and Sustainability Roadmap. It is a five year long strategic planning document for the organization and it is the first of its kind for a regional health authority in BC. And it's really gonna set the stage for how Interior Health steps forward to be a leader in climate change and sustainability. When we designed the Climate Change and Sustainability Roadmap, we took into consideration the different types of roles that Interior Health has. So the first being our role as an organization with responsibilities to our employees and our medical professionals. The second being our responsibilities as a healthcare provider and providing essential services to our patients and providing care. And the third is around our role as a community member. So thinking about our responsibilities to the areas in which we work in, municipalities, local government. The health impacts of climate change are enormous and we are seeing that in the interior health region. So we see people who are more susceptible to heat, wildfire smoke to cold, present to our emergency departments, requiring care, certainly needing more service provision. And also there's a really significant impact on mental health. Interior Health is interested in supporting communities in broader planning processes and looking at other determinants of health that have climate co-benefits. Our Indigenous partners and communities are being disproportionately impacted by climate change. When you look at who's being impacted by our wildfire evacuations, our flooding evacuations, it's many, many of our First Nation and Indigenous communities. We're preparing for the impacts of climate change by making our facilities more climate resilient. So in rebuilding, replacing or retrofitting, we assess the opportunity not only to upgrade our systems, but to create proactive plans to minimize climate risk and design future facilities to minimize our greenhouse gas emissions and our energy use. Initiatives both big and small can and do really make a difference. So I want to encourage staff to get involved, to read the roadmap and to learn more about what they can do in their day-to-day -day work.